My name is Jordan Baer. I am with the Evansville Wartime Museum. I am very honored and humbled to have uh, created the 80th anniversary blood drive with the Red Cross Canteen. And I want to thank Mr. Jack Butcher, who was 13 years old. Uh, he played the Bugle Boy uh, for his Boy Scout project for this canteen. Uh, I appreciate him showing up today. I appreciate Mr. Forrest Gottman, uh, the director of the Evansville Wartime Museum, for hosting this event. And then I also want to thank Ann Omquist. She's with the uh, American Red Cross of Southwestern Indiana, and she will have some, a few words to say. Thank you, Jordan. I'm honored to be the representative with the American Red Cross, who helped with coordinating the uh, display here for the Red Cross Canteen. The Red Cross Canteen was instrumental in providing food and services to more than 1.6 million service members who traveled through the Evansville area. And our Jack Buttram was a bugler and performed uh, many ceremonies for the canteen, and we're honored that he could be here today. And we also would like to say sincere appreciation to our mayor, who has designated today as the Evansville Red Cross Canteen Day. And may I read this to you, please, Jack? In June of 1942, the Evansville Red Cross Canteen opened its doors on land next to the LNN station, which is located between Bolton Avenue and the Shirley James Trailhead in the present day. And 1,612,000 service members out of the roughly 16 million total U.S. service members were served by the Red Cross Canteen in Evansville, Indiana. Mr. Jack Buttram, the past president, of the Evansville Wartime Museum served as the bugle boy for the canteen as part of his Boy Scout project. And 1,280 meals per day on average were served daily. We would like to thank you so much for your service to the Red Cross Canteen and to our military and to the Evansville Airtime Wartime Museum. Thank you so much, Jack. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank, thank you. Welcome. The Evansville Wartime Museum is proud of you be able to display this canteen. There are those who believe that this canteen was the best thing Evansville did, in spite of doing 6,500 plus P-47s and tanks and ammunition. They believe this contribution, when we fed that many young men going through the war, was important. I happened to get involved because I knew the son of the lady that was in charge of putting this together. Her name was Mrs. Fisher. I had forgotten I was doing this until I saw a letter in our display over here written to Mrs. Fisher. I said, oh, gee whiz, I remember she asked me. I played taps for the opening of this. I'm proud of what I was able to do. I'm proud of what the museum does to, to, to uh, make sure people recognize the importance of the, of the Evansville Red Cross Canteen. Thank you. Thank you. And I will make sure the museum displays it someplace that's real place for me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mrs. Carl Fisher. She was the she was the mother of three of my friends who went to Hebrew. Huh. And I looked at that and I said, hmm, I remember that. Wow. How cool.